Hello everyone, this is Tong Jun Ko, who is the one of the mentor in Dayton. Today we are going to learn about how to make hangman game. So there are six things that we need to be cautious. First one, we are going to draw a short flow chart before we code our hangman game. And there are quite a lot of topics that we are going to cover. Some concepts might be new, like ASCII art. Although flowcharts, list, and LF string methods are familiar to you, we're going to apply it through this hangman game. The project goal is going to be to learn basis of Pi game through a hangman game that we code. And it might be the longest code you have learned so far. At the end of the game, I will anyway provide you the end form of hangman game code to all of you. But when the video is playing, we are going to learn, plan, and do our code. And on next week, we are going to challenge other types of hangman game, such as extended version of it. So are everyone ready? Here we go! There are a few new concepts, such as ASCII art. ASCII in ASCII art stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. To simplify it, it is a sort of Precursor to emoji. Like a cat dancing in this picture. And a man or girl having the face expression. As you guessed, we're going to use our ASCII art to design our hangman game right here. I think everyone here have done flowchart in the group project. It is a designing map for the program. It is not always necessary. However, it is much easier to make changes and identify problems by thinking about how the program works before writing the code for it. This is the full form of our hangman game. We are going to just skip it due to the time limitation right here. But I will give you time for screenshot it. Now we move on to writing our hangman code. There are Six concepts will be here. Lists, the in operator, methods, the split lower upper, starts with ends with string methods, at the last, LF statements. Most of it are familiar to you everyone because we have learned it before. Now we move to our step-by-step -step method. Writing code without planning is truly crazy, so I divided all the hangman code by 12 steps right here. We will take a deep look at next pages. Step 1. Importing the random module. The hangman program randomly selects a secret word for the player to guess from a list of words. The random module will provide this ability, so line 1 imports it. Fortunately, more than quarter of this code consists of the constant variables, which is the ASCII art for a hangman that I previously showed. I might have provided you the constant variables for the ASCII art right there, which is the hangman pictures showing the steps that man is hanging his neck over there. Hangman pictures contain several multi-line strings. This is because list has a list values that can contain several other values. Through our previous data sessions, I think we have learned how to use indexes and bringing the value of the list. However, I think I need to explain the in operator further. The in operator can tell you whether a value is in a list or not. Expressions that used in in operator return a value. True. If the value is in the list and false if it isn't. I have a one list containing full variables of animals. Cow, cat, dinosaur, Pikachu. Let me check if this sentence is true. Pikachu in animals, true. And in animals, false. So did you get it? We're going to use in operator to make our code. If it checks, the player get the rules correct. The list data type can be used in this way. Hello, in Ellie said hello to Bob is true because hello is right there. However, hello 
in Ellie said hello to Bob is false. Do you know why? Because hello in H starts with capital letter. I use the split method right here. The string data type has a split method, which returns a list of strings made from a string that has been split. By adding split blank at the end of the shell, the Python will automatically add quotation mark commas for every word. Just make sure that spaces separate the words. And now we are going to create the function returns a random string from the past list of strings. This function will return a single secret word from the list in word list. So I use define function right here and make the function and make the function to choose random word contained in the word list. And I use I also use that the length method from the zero indexes to the length of the word list minus one. The minus one is added because every indexes and every values have the differences of negative one. And we're going to return the word list and word index. So this function will make your hangman game to get a random word from it. Next. You need a function to print the hangman board on the screen. It should also display how many letters the player has correctly guessed. So here's the first three line of displaying the board to player. The code defines a new function named display board. This function has three parameters. Missed letters. It is a string of the letters the player has guessed that are not in the secret word. Crack letters. It is a string of the letters the player has guessed that are in the secret word. Secret word. It is a string of a secret word that the player is trying to guess. The first print function call will display the board. The global variable hangman picture has a list of strings for each possible board. The number of letters in missed letters will reflect how many incorrect guesses the player has made. Call length of missed letters to find out this number. This line will print the string missed letters column with a space character at the end of at the end instead of a new line. The for loop right under the print function will iterate over each character in the string missed letters and print it on the screen. Remember that and will replace the new line character that is printed after the string with a single space character. So every missed letter you get, that letter will be shown with each single space right there. Now, you want to print the secret word, but with blank lines for the letters that haven't been guessed, you can use underscore character blank for this. First, create a string with nothing but one underscore for each letter in the secret word, then replace the blanks for each letter in correct letters. The code is the for root looks like this. If secret was zero in correct letters, blanks will be the nothing but the blank. However, when when the player got the correct letter right there, that secret word will be shown and the other parts will be shown with the blanks. So this is the one of the tricky type of the code that you might have learned. So we are showing only the first two iterations of the for loop, but starting with zero, letter i will take the value of each number in the range. In the first iteration, constant i takes the value zero. So the if statement checks whether the letter in secret word at index zero is in correct letters.
the loop does this for every letter in the secret word, one letter at a time. Now we move on to getting the player's guess. The get guess function will be called so that the player can enter a letter to guess. The function returns the letter the player guessed as a string. Further, get guess will make sure that the player types a valid letter before it returns from the function. So this is the define get guess. All of the guessed variable is the what player typed for the guess. So it will return the letter the player entered. This function makes sure that player entered a single letter and not something else. As you know, Python is quite sensitive and too picky. So we need to make sure that player's guess is a lowercase letter so we can check it against the sacred word. That's where the lower method comes in. You can also combine print function with the guess function, input function. So put guess the letter, quotate it, guess the letter, right into the input box. So this will surely work. Now, even if the player enters an uppercase letter as a guess, the get guess function will return a lowercase letter. The reason why I put while loop right here is will that the while loop will keep asking the player for a letter until they enter a single letter that being guessed. The code inside the loop asks the player to enter a letter, which is stored in the variable guess. If the player entered an uppercase letter, it would be overwritten with a lowercase letter. The next part of the hangman program uses elif statements. You can think of elif or else if statements as saying, if this is true, do this, or else, if this next condition is true, do that, or else, if none of them is true, do this last thing. By using this elif statement, we can make sure the player entered a valid guess. The guess variable contains the player's letter guess. The program needs to make sure they entered a valid guess. One, and only one letter that has not yet been guessed. If they didn't, the execution will loop back and ask them for a letter again. The first condition check, if length, checks whether guess is not one character long. The first elif condition also checks whether our guess already guessed variable. The second elif condition checks whether guess is not a letter in the standard English alphabet. If any of these conditions are true, the game prompts the player to enter a new guess. If all these conditions are false, then the else statement block executes and get guess returns on the last line, return guess. Remember, only one of the blocks in an if elif else statement will be executed. What if you just finished playing the game? Isn't it going to be better if the computer asks you to play to player to play a game? The play a game function has just a print function call and a return statement. The return statement has an expression that looks complicated, but you can break it down. Here's a step-by-step -step look at how Python evaluates this expression if the user enters yes. There will firstly be the blank which was asking the answer for the user. So input it will be added right here. And if you type yes, whether if it's starts with capital or not, it will anyway change to the lower letter, yes. Then after it, starts with function will figure out if that letter starts with Y. So if it is true, then the player will play the game again. Accidentally, most of positive expression starts with Y, such as yeah, yas. <laughs> I apologize. Okay, well, I think it's about time to review of our hangman functions. Get random word. It takes a list of string passed to it 
and returns on string from it. That is how a word is chosen for the player to guess. Display board. It shows the current state of the board, including how much of the secret word had player has guessed so far and the wrong letters that player has guessed. This function needs three parameters passed to it to work correctly. Correct letters and missed letters are strings made up of the letters that the player has guessed that are in and not in the secret word respectively. And secret word is the secret word the player is trying to guess. This function has no return value. Get guess function. This takes a string of letters that player has already guessed and will keep asking the player for a letter that isn't in already guessed. This function returns the string of the valid letter the player guessed. Lastly, play again function. It asks if the player wants to play another round of hangman, and it's just asking him play again. It was such a tough coding session. By the way, you know what? We still can play hangman game. We need to move on to the actual process of our hangman game. Actual gaming? Yeah, for hangman game. We already built up the algorithm and we are going to apply it by adding and making the game work right here. The main part of the hangman program displays the name of the game, sets up the sum variables, and executes a while loop. This section walks through the reminder of the program step by step. Line starts with print hangman is the first print call that executes when the game is run. It displays the title of the game. Next, blank strings are assigned to the variables, missed letters, and correct letters since the player hasn't guessed any missed or correct letters yet. The getRandomWord function call at secretWord will evaluate to a randomly selected word from the words list. Game is done equal false line. It is the code will set game is done to true when it wants to signal that the game is over and, and ask the player whether they want to play a game. After the beginning process of the hangman, we need to call the display board function. The reminder of the program consists of a while loop. The while loop's condition is always true, which means it will loop forever until it encounters a break statement. Display board function right here, passing it the three variables set on our previous page. Based on how many letters the player has correctly guessed and missed, this function displays the appropriate hangman board to the player. And we need to make the player to engage the game. So get guess is now used here. The get guess function requires an already guessed parameter so it can check whether the player enters a letter they have already guessed. We must check whether the letter is in the secret word. So we are going to use if function right here. If guess in secret word, correct letters will be equal to correct letters plus guess. This string will be the new value of correct letters. We must check if the player win the game. Correct letters has each letter that the player correctly guessed, and secret word is a secret word itself. But you can simply check whether correct letters is equal to secret word. If secret word were the string alter and correct letters were any string consists of O, T, E, R, even if it is just a single T or different order, then correct letters is equal to secret word, secret word. And this will be false, even though the player has guessed each letter in the secret word. The only way you can be sure the player has won is to iterate over each letter in secret word and see if it exists in correct letters. If and only if every letter in secret word exists in correct letters has the player won.
and this is the process until the break. And if you find a letter in secret word that doesn't exist in card letters, you know that the player has not guessed all the letters. The new variable found all letters is set to true below break will change found all letters to false the first time it finds a letter in secret word that isn't in correct letters. If all the letters in the secret word has been found, the player is told they have won, and game is done is set to true. Handling an incorrect guess. Can you remind that the part that we checked whether the letter is in the secret word starts with if function, and this else is for that statement. In this else statement, we must check whether the player lost. Each time the player guesses incorrectly, the code concentrates the wrong letter to the string in missed letter. So the length of missed letters or in code length mixed letter is also the number of wrong guesses. The hangman picture list has seven ASCII art strings. So when the length of the missed letter string is equal to length of hangman pictures minus one, which is six, the player has run out of guesses. You know, the player has lost because the hanging man picture will be finished. Remember, hangman picture in the index zero is the first item in the list, and the hangman picture six is the last one. So this long line, print line, a yeah, long line with a print function means secret words and correct letters individually by playing the game. And the last line here comes with true is the game is done variable for true. So here is the one big, 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 big code for our step so far. Screen, you'd better screenshot it, I think. I'll give five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Next. And we, yeah, it's about to end. We need to end our game or reset the game. And reset the game is carried out by the play game function. So we're going to ask the player if they want to play game again, but only if the game is done. As you can see, if the player does want to play game again, the values in missed letter and correct letters must be reset to blank strings. Game is done reset to false, and a new secret word stored in secret word. This way, when the execution loops back to the beginning of while loop on hangman game, like beginning of the hangman rook, so the board will be reset to a fresh game right there. The break statements right here causes the execution to jump to the first instruction after the loop, but because there are no more instructions after the loop, the program terminates. So, well guys, Hangman has been our most advanced game yet, and you've learned several new concepts while making it. We're facing group project after this session, and I wish and I hope that this session truly help you to design the game that you're going to plan. Have a nice group project. Thank you for watching. This is Song Junko from Dayton Patch 1. Thank you.